before we get going with the video, I would like to take a moment to say thanks to my patrons because I wouldn't be able to keep doing this without you. So thank you so much for all your support. But also like to say thanks to Richter for his tier four sub this month, and special thanks to James Bond for his tier five sub this month. In this video, we are going to make our fox die. So the first thing we have to do is to make sure that we can apply the death sprite sheet to the fox without any problems. And we have to do the same thing as we did when we needed to apply the angry sprite sheet. So we go to the fox and right click and say show in explorer under sprites. And in here we have these meta files and we need to duplicate the angry one and rename it to dead. So we actually just delete the dead one or actually just press F2 first before you delete it. Copy the name of the dead one, delete that, duplicate the angry one, meta file by pressing control. Oh, actually just copy. Um, can I actually do that? Yeah, drive it here and copy here and rename the new one with the copy paste of the death um, meta file. With that done, it will load a bit and now we should be able to select our player and go to our sprites fox and move the dead one up there. Um, oops, not the player, of course, the rig there. We should be able to take the dead one and place it and just replace the head by that. Anyway, now the settings are correct on our dead fox sprite sheet. Then we can start creating the animation. We do that by going to the rig, selecting it, going to our create new clip, and we say die. We go into complete and place paste there. Then we press the record button. The first thing we do is to change the sprite sheet to that. Then we move to about 10 and we start to drop to our knees, something like this, move these up. Um, and actually, I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to select my player. I'm going to move him a bit down so I have the ground as a reference point. I just want him to stand on the ground somehow so we can see that we need to drop to. Let's just put him just on top of this. Um, I will go back to the rig. I will select my die animation and go to 10 and see that he also just bend up his legs. And when you have bent up his legs, we need to fall to the ground, something like that. So from the start, oh, I forgot to record, of course. So let's click record, move to 10, select the rig, move him down like that. And now you'll see that when he dies, he drops to his legs, knees. Next thing I want to do is to move to about 50. I want to take his body and move forward and just move it out of the way somewhere here. Then I will take the legs and, oops, I wanna stretch them out a bit. Rotate them in place and stretch this one out again and rotate like that. And maybe move it a bit down. And then I wanna take the body back. I'll take the, this one I guess, back here. Maybe take this leg and move it a bit down as well. Something like that. And take the tail and move it down. It falls to the ground as well. And his head maybe bend it over a bit. Okay. So when we play this animation, you'll see that he falls to his legs and then falls forward. Because he's dead. He dies like that. So it's up to you if you want to adjust it. If you don't like the fact that his knees are sliding back or something, you can always adjust that. However, I am happy with this animation because it looks okay like he's falling to the ground. Stop recording. Okay. So now that we have the die animation that we can actually um, play for the player, uh, we can start adding it. We do that by going into the animator and yeah, I already have die because it tests something before. However, you shouldn't have those. So let's just delete them for a bit measure. So you go to body. Up here, you take your new animation by going into your complete and taking die and dragging it in, making the transition. And you make sure that the transition doesn't have exit time uh, and is set to zero and it can't transition to itself. When you've done that, you need to set up a parameter. So you click the plus here and you find a parameter called die. If you don't have the parameter, you go to parameters, click plus. Add a bool and name it die. Okay. So what you do, you can copy this, I guess, die, copy, paste this, and go to the layer, select legs, and paste it in here. And then we have a transition that is set up correctly. 
So now die is set up. The next thing we need to do is to write some code that will allow us to play this animation. So let's open up our script here. Inside the player stat, we need to make sure that we can test if he's dead. So we make a public bool called alive. And alive is simply just a property that will tell us if he's alive or not. And how do we do that? Well, we use a get um, to return our lives more than zero. So if we have more than zero lives, well, then we are alive. With this created, we can jump to our player actions, I guess. And inside take hit, hit we need to say, well, if our player does that, well, actually, if our player dot alive, that's dot alive, I mean. So if we are not alive, well, what then? Well, if we're not alive, then we should uh, make sure that he dies, right? And how do you do that? Well, we simply say, we can take this, copy it and paste it here, and say we want to play the animation called die. So if we, if we reduce the lives and he's not alive anymore, then we die. Then we go to our player, and here we simply say, we copy this, paste it below, and say die. Um, and I actually think we should we should actually make sure that it is legs die and body die, just not to make any confusion. So body underscore die and copy this and make sure that hurt is lower prioritized than die so that we can die even though we take damage. And then we go down here, grab this one and call it legs die. And then we say that our legs, we don't even have a legs take damage. Nope. Okay. So body die and legs die is fine. So we go back here and we select our animator and this little property here needs to be changed. So parameters, we can rename this one to legs underscore die. And then we make a new one called body underscore die. And then we make sure we have the legs selected and we select our legs die. It's fine. Go to layers and take body and make sure that body die is selected here, there. And then we can go to parameters and move it up a bit. So all legs things are together and body things are together. Okay. With that done, we can go back to the script. And let's see. Save this. We can try to play it and see what happens, actually. So it should play the animation. However, I think it should be cancelled out by other things. Let's see. I take one, two, three times damage. And it says the key was not found in the dictionary because I didn't add it. So as I do every single time, I forget to add it. So let's see here, down here. We should be adding. Oh, we are actually so body underscore die, legs underscore die. Or I am trying to play the wrong one. Let's see here, play actions. Here I need to play body underscore die and do the same for legs underscore die. Okay, so let's try one more time. So one, two. So you saw that it kind of died. However, it just I can keep, I can still walk when I'm I'm dead. So that's a problem. So I need to go to my player and go down here to update and say, well, if player dot stats, oops, well, I just have stats stats dot alive. So if I'm alive, then I can do all this. Okay, and the same goes for move. If stats alive, well, then I can move and then we can save we can go back to our script here our game and let's try again to see what happens when i hit him three times one two three and then he dies however the animation is looping so let's just fix that that's an easy fix remove loop time and there we go so one two Oh, and he's dead, and now he's laying on the ground. So, 
that is how we kill our fox and that's how we make sure that we can't move when we're dead of course we need to respawn him we also need to make him immortal for a while when he takes damage but that's for other videos so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video